Hello everyone. We are back again with another crystal unboxing video. Two in one week because I can't stop buying crystals. No, she can't. I actually ordered this one like not even a full week ago and because it's a United States supplier, it's already here. So here, I don't, I don't even know what the weight of this bad boy is. It says 13 pounds, but I know that's not true because I bought 11 pounds in just Labradorite. So let's just get right into it. I also asked my Twitter friends to send me some, some questions for me to answer during this video. So I will be answering your questions. I also have my Curious Cat, which is the question app, linked in my link tree. So if you want to ask me questions for my next video, you can go right ahead. And I will not be answering your creepy questions, by the way. Whoever is asking about my toes, I will not be answering you. So here's the first item in our unboxing. It is something I've already had in my store for a while. I just happened to run out because you guys seem to like these. Which is these little... I don't know how to say it. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Chalcedony. 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 I don't know. I like Chalcedony better. So, whatever it is, these little hearts back in yeah. stock now. Agate Stars. I had these a couple months ago. They're pretty popular, so I got some more. Okay, so someone asked me, what is your dream crystal? Something you want but either haven't found yet or can't afford. My dream crystal. I don't know. I've seen some pretty nice, like, malachite pieces and some rhodochrosite pieces that are always expensive, so I can't afford them. I also really want one of those, I really want one of those Labradorite tables, where that's like big Labradorite slices and it's a table. That would be really nice. Like a big chunk of rhodochrosite. Oh, or a big piece of malachite, rhodochrosite, a Labradorite table. What else is my dream crystal? Dream Crystal. They also asked, how did I learn to wrap pendants? So, so I've been observing people wrapping on Twitter for years now, and I kind of just Googled it and watched YouTube videos on how to do the basic weaving patterns and basic constructing, and I'm kind of just going from there. So they're not great yet, but I'm still learning, but I basically just watched a lot of YouTube videos. So here I am unboxing some fluorites. Sorry for the crinkling going on also. Not much I can do. We got a bunch of little smoky quartz here too. They're very clear though. You can hardly tell they're smoky quartz, but they are. I'm still thinking about my dream crystal because I feel like I have so many things like screenshotted and saved that I'd love to buy, but I can't think of it. What is your favorite piece you've ever come across? I feel like that's a similar question. So a couple months ago, I tweeted about a piece of Ocean Jasper that I found on Etsy, and I was just in love with it, and I'm still thinking about it. It was like a cabochon, and it was an Ocean Jasper, and it was so nice. Um, my favorite piece, though. You know, I didn't think this would be a hard question for me to answer, but it kind of is. Look at this, beautiful. Next question was, what was your first sale? I like that question. So I started, I started an Etsy in, I think, early 2018, and I kind of did, like, this was before I was even doing, like, serious art, really, and I kind of just posted, like, little crafts. I did, like, um, frame paintings, like those little wooden frames from Michaels, and I painted frames, and I painted little boxes, and just kind of like little crafty stuff, and it was actually kind of traumatizing because someone ordered like a space galaxy box and I sent it to them. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. So I sent them the box that they ordered and then they left like a one star review on my Etsy. And they're like, this is so ugly. Like it looks like a kindergartner made it. I hate it and just like all this stuff. Wow. And it was so mean. So ever since then, when I used to be on Etsy, I would get like anxiety anytime I got a notification of someone leaving a review. I would get so nervous when someone would leave a review because I was just like traumatized from that event. So yeah, one of that was probably my first sale. 
the hotel is a, <laughs> a horrible, horrible one experience. One of you. I think I might have had a couple sales before that, but oh my gosh, so pretty. But oh. I think my first sale of like real artwork would be someone I know in France bought a couple of my paintings in 2018. Again, when I was first starting out, he bought two mandala paintings. So that was very exciting because one of my first ever sales was in France. I was like, that's so cool. So I think that, those were like my first selling experiences. I first started selling when I joined Twitter. Before then, I didn't really have any sales at all. I think this is the Labradorites. I got 11 pounds. So funny story is I was ordering this order and I was ordering the order and I asked for like two pounds of Labradorite and then they sent me a picture and they're like, how about 11 pounds? <laughs> I was like, sure. <laughs> because I'm so easy. Like, all you have to oh. do is show me a picture and I'll be like, okay, I'll buy it. Oh wait, these aren't Labradorite. This is a Jasper. Oh, well. What are your favorite crystals? My favorite crystals are Bumblebee Jasper, <laughs> Malachite, Rhodochrosite, um, fluorite, Caribbean calcite. I have a lot. I really like bumblebee jasper. I also have a very extensive fluorite collection, personally. I like labradorite, obviously, because I always have it. Um, what else is my favorite crystal? I'm always drawn to, like, rhodochrosite, bumblebee jasper, malachite. Anything that has, like, those circle shapes, I really like those. Okay, skipping over the creepy questions. You know who you are? I'm not going to answer you. <laughs> How did you get into geology, smiley face? I became a geology major in 2016, I think. I was originally a physics major. That lasted like one year and then I'm like, wait, I'm dumb, I can't do that. So my main focus when I liked physics was I liked astronomy and like planets. And I was like, well, you know, geology is very similar to that. It's just on this earth. And I already liked hiking and like national parks and stuff, like that's my favorite thing. So then I just switched my major <laughs> to geology. And then around that time is when I first started getting into crystals and such. But I feel like the crinkling in this video is just gonna be unbelievable and everyone's gonna dislike it. 2016 is when I started like collecting crystals, being a geology major. Okay, now it's too quiet, now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Do a little crinkling just Complete to make it less awkward. Salad. I always liked rocks. I always liked outside, so it kind of just worked. It's funny because, like, as much as I love crystals and such, that's, like, not my focus in geology. My focus is more of, like, national parks and stuff. That's what I really like. So it's interesting to relate it to crystals also, but mineralogy is, like, not my specialty. Um, here we have some ocean jasper. Thank you for your very discreet exit. I've always loved Ocean Jasper, but I feel like it's been making a comeback. I've been seeing a lot of Ocean Jasper lately. But come on, it looks like a cool planet. So yeah, I got into geology because I was a physics major. And I've always liked rocks and the outdoors. There is one place you'd love to visit if safety and money wasn't a problem. P.S. You're really pretty. This isn't creepy because I'm a girl, lol. Thank you, I don't find that creepy. The, cre the creepy questions were the ones about my toes. So thank you, I appreciate your nice response that wasn't creepy. Where would I like to visit? Well, in like two weeks or so, we were supposed to be going on a trip to like Arizona and Utah. So that is where I'd like to visit. But unfortunately that is being canceled, so that's really upsetting. But yeah, Utah is like my favorite place in the world. I want to go like camping in Utah again. So badly. So there. I would also like to like, visit Yellowstone or something. I really like the national parks. Oh my God, look at this. Do you see how orange this is? These are nice. These, oh my God, this one's purple. Oh my God, I'm already so excited about these labs. I'm like, oh, these. <laughs> <laughs> I like all these layers on them. I didn't see every single one. Oh my god, wait, this one's red too. Oh my god, I'm so excited like, about like these. Like chocolate. So, I didn't see every single one that they were sending me. They sent me like a little bit of a preview and it was like two really nice ones. So I was like, okay, I feel confident ordering 11 pounds of these. 
Okay, someone said, what inspired you to start your shop? I've been doing art for like my whole life. So I've always been doing art, but like around 20, what's it, six, 2017, 18 is like when I started like, I hadn't been doing art for a few years, so I like needed to get the art out of my system again. So I, oh my God, this one's beautiful. So I started doing those little crafts that I was saying. So that's when I started my Etsy. And that just evolved when I started discovering like fluid art. So that's what I started doing. Oh my God, this one's like a triangle shape. It's really cool. These are all really nice. So when I started fluid art, that's kind of when really, I really started getting serious. I started selling crystals. I've always wanted to sell crystals. I don't know, it just, just looked like so much fun. Doing this just looked like so much fun. I started my shop with crafts, then I moved on to fluid art when I got more serious about it. Once I discovered that, I started selling crystals because I've always wanted to sell crystals. It just seemed so much fun to be doing this and ordering just like a ton of crystals. That's really just like what I like doing. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's not a very good answer, is it? Someone said, is there anyone you have a crush on? No, there is not, unfortunately. I wish there was because I'm bored, but there is not. Not a question, but I think you're incredibly cute and sweet. Thank you. Can I special order a crystal for you? From you? Well, you can tell me what you want and I will do my best to find it for you. If I see something that I like that you are unpacking, can I order it now? I like the tall purple towers. Well, normally I don't sell things before my updates. I have a couple of times if someone is like particularly excited about something that I had, but usually I just sell everything on my updates and the tall purple flat flowers flowers tall purple fluorites will be for sale during my live sale that i'm going to be doing maybe next week whenever my caribbean calcites come in that's when i'm doing a live sale um can you show more close-ups of the crystals yes i will add photos and i'm probably going to bring the camera a little bit closer so i can show you all these up close and personal someone said more kitties tell me about them well Okay. The black kitty is named Spooks, and the brown one is Winter, and we have two outdoor, three outdoor kitty friends, which is Pumpernickel, Peanut Butter Cup, and the old cat. The old one. We don't know what her name is, but she looks pretty old. So yeah, we have three outdoor friends and two indoor kitties. And there's a... They've liked to make appearances in the videos. Right now they're watching the other cats outside. There's a cat watching us in the window. Where'd she go? I swear. There she is, right there. There she is, she's so cute, she's a torty. She likes to scream, also. So I'm going to show you some of the Labradorites up close and personal. Here's a nice yellowy one. It's like yellow and gold. Like, that's really cool. It's like yellow on one side, gold on the other. There's also a lot of nice purpley colors, purpley rainbow ones. I'm excited because like every single one I've seen so far is really good. And I only got a preview of like two of them in the lot before I bought it. So I am very pleasantly surprised. We really just have like all colors here. Look at that, like green and blue. That's so cool. Here's a nice rainbow one. The ring light is really ruining the lighting, but I promise they're all really cool. I'll take some pictures outside and you'll see. I also apologize for my nails. They look bad. Lost a couple since my last video. I'll probably lose some again tonight. Sorry. Here's a really nice purple one. There's a lot of super deep blue ones also. We really have the full spectrum here. There's a lot of orangey ones, rainbow ones, a couple really cool golds. Greens, blues, purple, we really have it all. Like how ridiculous is it that I was looking for two pounds of Labradorite and they're like, how about 11? And I was like, sure. You are a fool. <laughs> I'm so easy. Whenever a wholesaler sends me a picture of anything, they're like, would you like to add this? I'm like, okay, why not? Look at that purple, purple and orange. Also my cat is being goofy in the background, sorry. Okay, now let's take a peek at these fluorites. 
Hopefully the ring light comes in handy here so you can see them. Look how juicy he is. I love florets that have like white in them. I think it's really cool. These are very rainbowy, the ones I got. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. So juicy. Turquoisey. Love these cool zigzags. This piece is big. Here's another rainbowy one that has some white and blue in it. Very funky. I think this one might be my favorite. Look at those zigzags. Do you like this one, Ray? Look at those zigzags. That is pretty cool. This one's a thick boy. I really like that, the tall one, how green it is. This one? Mm -hmm. That is nice. Here's another thick boy. Some nice pastels. Beautiful. Here is a bluer one. Ooh, look at that. Almost matches my nails. I'm so sorry, you have to look at my ugly broken nails. We will fix this. We will make this right for the next video. Here's one, ooh, look at that juicy purple. This one, I think the white stuff in the fluorite is called scolocyte. I think that's what that is. Very cool. Cute little rainbow one. This one is so clear and glassy looking. It's like magical. This one has like blue zigzags in it. It's so pretty. More skull sight. I don't even know if that's how that's pronounced. I hope you liked the close up view of some of these Labradorites. I'll post better pictures because like this is the worst possible lighting to look at anything in. So make sure to follow like my Twitter and Instagram and stuff to see better pictures of these. And when I'm going to be posting them and when I'm going to be doing a live sale. As I was saying, if you have any more questions for me or for Ryan, Feel free to ask us questions in my curious cat thing, which is in my link tree, which I will link below. I want to count how many Labradorites did I get. Actually, you know what would be so much fun? Okay, so much fun. If anyone is still watching, comment down below how many Labradorites do you think is here. Like, don't cheat, but like, how many Labradorites do you think is here? And who, if someone guesses the right answer, I'll send you one for free. Like, I don't even think anyone's watching at this point, but if you are, comment down below how many Labradorites do you think are here. I will tell you in my next video. No one cares, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's really fun. Right. So comment down below how many Labradorites do you think are here. And if you are right, I will send you one for free. I guess. Yeah, I guess. How many of you think are right here? Um, uh, 47. No, it'll be fun. My 100 subscriber YouTube giveaway. Yes. Good times. <laughs> Huge amount of stuff. Here's one of the cats you asked about. This is Winter. She loves to make an appearance. She screams 24-7. She likes to scream, especially at night and then in the morning when people are sleeping. She likes to be a burden. No manners. No manners whatsoever. She likes to drink people's have, drinks. She and... likes to stick her paws in my water and drink from her paws. And eat people's food. She has no manners. None. She just does whatever she wants. Very rude. Anyway. Anyway. This is my haul. I have X amount of Labradorites. I have some Ocean Jasper Palm Stones, which are very funky. I really like all of these. I'm very excited about this pink one. I think it's super cool. I have a bunch of these Agate Stars. I have some little Smoky Quartz Towers with some Rutile. Um, I have my Chalcedony, Chalcedony, Chalcedony Hearts back in stock. Great news. 
and a bunch of these rainbow fluorite towers. Wonderful. So I think most of this stuff will probably be for sale in my Wednesday update. Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. I'll probably have most of this. I think all of this. Not all the labradorites because that's... We're going to go slowly. We're going to pace ourselves on those. Mm -hmm. So be sure to follow me on Instagram and my website are both Cosmic Geology. Mm -hmm. My Twitter is Emily Hardnock. Mm -hmm. um, if you see my link tree, which I will link below, you can see where you can ask me more questions that I will answer in my next video. Nice. It is nice. Ask Ryan some questions too because I always make him film with me. So yeah, ask thanks. him some fun questions. Mm -hmm. He'll love to answer them. We all want to get to know Ryan. No, we don't. He's really just a lovely person. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. But anyway. Thank you for so, watching. Thank you for watching. And check out my website and Twitter where okay. I post most of my stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Anything else, Dad? No. All right. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. Hello. I'm already back. I forgot to film. I am. I wanted to show you all the tumbled stones I got today. I posted on Twitter saying this was a Patreon exclusive haul, but no one watches my YouTube videos anyway. So we're just going to show you guys because I'm excited. So I have been getting a lot of orders lately for tumbled stones. So I kind of went crazy and bought a lot of them at the store today. I just wanted to give you a quick show of what will be available this Wednesday. Oh my god. Okay, so first of all, we have Rainbow Moonstone. Flashy, beautiful, wonderful, mm -hmm. spectacular, amazing. amazing. Never been seen before. Perfect, beautiful. We have Green Fluorite, which is actually just regular fluorite because a lot of it is actually purple. Like, I asked Twitter what you guys wanted to see, and I got pretty much everything everyone asked for. I am here to serve so, because people buy my rocks <laughs> so I get to buy more rocks with my money so I got pretty much everything everyone asked for as long as I had it so a lot of people were asking for fluorite so here you go I am always ready to buy fluorite so I have tumbles, I have towers, I have hearts I have wands I have it all oh my God. I got more of these faceted garnets because these are a crowd favorite. I always like to have these at my shop because I don't see them very often and I just think they're so cool. Really oh, cool. just amazing. I got Crazy Lace Agate. Not particularly my thing. I think it's pretty funky. I like the colors, but someone asked for this and if this is what the people want, I will give it to you. Got Lapis Cubes. Beautiful, spectacular, amazing. I got Golden Healer Quartz and Honey Calcite, very two very nice. similar looking things. I actually already have these in the shop, but they are flying off the shelves, so I restocked. I like them. I also got a ton of Tiger's Eye, also flying off the shelves. Love those. You asked and I answered, here it is. Now this was a pricey one, but I think it was worth it. This is some Chrysoprase tumble stones. Very expensive, but also very high quality. They're beautiful. Don't you like this color, Ray? This is really nice. Don't look for it. Look at that price. For those. Yeah. I have rose calcite tumble stones. I've been loving the calcite lately, if you can't tell. I have a huge order of calcite coming in, including some of these in Teleform. I don't know you stuff. <laughs> Got selenite tumble stones, another restock. Selenite. Flying off the shelves. Had to get more. So and now, my personal favorite. Malachite. My Malachite personal favorite. tumble stones. I'd like to take a peek at these bad boys. So, the Chrysoprase oh, and nice. the Malachite are going to be pretty pricey, as they normally are. But, these are some pretty... Hefty tumble stones. Very nice. Very excited about nice. these. I don't think they had them the last time I went to the store. Glad they're back. Bunch of very cool pieces. 
they always have so many like different bags so i like looking through them to make sure i'm getting the bag with like the best pieces and i really feel like we really did that on this one so all of this coming to my store on wednesday very exciting times yeah. anyway that's all my update on my other order from today all of this i got today good times most of it will be available wednesday check it out I'm done.